What up, punks? How's it going? Welcome to another mail video. I don't think this one will be going up on Monday, but I got some mail here that I wanted to open up. I got a lot of mail for you from you guys over the past couple weeks, and I wanted to start opening it up. So uh, we first we have th I'm gonna th I'm gonna go with three packages here. I think we got one from Rex, one from Liz from Las Vegas, and one from Ijomio um, from Finland. Actually, that's international stuff. So, uh, we've had Rex's for a while, so I wanted to apologize to Rex. I, I believe it's from Rex. Maybe it's from someone's parent. I don't know. But I wanted to apologize and say this package has been with me for a while, and I've been looking forward to it for a while, and uh, I can't wait to see what is in here. Okay? Here we go. I'm opening it up, and we've got, we got some stuff. Okay, cool. We got a letter here. We got two things wrapped up in bubble wrap. I don't know what they are quite yet. And um, we've got, uh, let's see, we got a book, it looks like. And, oh, essential oils. Fancy. Look at this stuff. Packages old. Here we go. Wow. Nice. Uh, Rex is from Tennessee. And he sent me a guide about essential oils. Um, uh, can you see that? Using essential oils. This is a guide. These two are essential oils. And, um, there's a little letter from him that I'll read. And then there's a book here. It says Modern Essentials. And there's little tags, the red and green one, uh, that are, I guess, little bookmarks. Cool. Um, wow, oh, I'm really touched by this. Okay, let's read the letter. Hey, TJ. Your videos are hugely, huge entertainment, uplifting, and demonstrate tremendous talent and effort. Thank you. They look like great fun to make, too. I'm certain they are a lot of work and expense as well. That is one reason I want my gift to be unique, helpful, and something you can continue to use. That's very thoughtful. Pure therapeutic essential oils can be fun and uplifting, too. They are not an imitation. They are what they are labeled. It's amazing to learn how they can be used for healing. At the very least, you can smell them and enjoy them. One of your many God-given gifts, thank you, is your ability to absorb knowledge. That is why I'm giving you two oils, a book, and a beginner's guide to learn about them. I hope you enjoy them. I chose white fur and wild orange for you. It seemed like a good fit. Thanks for all that you share to entertain us. I don't only enjoy the videos. I wonder about how much fun it must be to interact with everyone. Then, to make the final video for presentation must have its own rewards. Thanks again. Enjoy the oils. Peace and love, Rex. Wow, dude. Thank you. Uh, that's like really, really like thoughtful. Um, and this is like a nice like hardbound book. Cool, man. I don't know if you watch the videos on this vlog channel, but I hope you do. Because uh, this is fantastic. Um, it kind of talks about this book right here. I'm flipping through it. Uh, it talks about essential oils in general, the brief history of them, uh, the chemical compounds of them and how they're made up, um, application methods, uh, how they affect, you know, when you smell and when they seep into your skin, um, talking about single oils individually, there's like a bit, like a encyclopedia of them, um, and he, he like marked the tab on it where the white fur one is and where the wild orange one is, here's the wild orange one. You can see the picture right there in the pink tab. And, uh, wow. Then there's oil blends section. Uh, then it kind of talks about like more products for like spas and, and whatnot. Uh, and how to take care of certain things um, by using essential oils. Wow, dude. Wow. Cool. Uh, I will have to ask some of my roommates who live in this place. Uh, I mean, there's obviously a guide and everything, so I will definitely read through that. Um, but they are big fans of essential oils. Um, and this is, a, this is a beginner's guide down here. I don't know if you can see it, but it says beginner's guide. So perfect. Uh, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Let's look at the bottle. Let's check this out. It's like, it's like wrapping paper that's sticky on this side, but not on this side. Oh, and it smells good. Oh, it smells good. Smells like orange. I bet this is the wild orange one. Cool. 
cool. But it's like it's like wrapping paper and it like sticks to it. What? That's awesome. That's brilliant for packaging. Yeah, this is the wild orange one. Oh, so cool. Smells amazing. Smells a amazing. Um, okay, there we go. There's that one. This is another one right here. Uh, and we've got this is the white fur. Oh, this one smells like a pine forest. Yeah, that makes sense, of course, doesn't it? <laughs> cool, man. Thank you, Rex. I'm sorry it took so long to open your package. I think he sent his package in like October or something. Um, I'm gonna have to. Ah, that's that's really cool. That's really cool. I have no idea how to use them, so I'll have to explore this. Cool. Uh, next thing is from Liz from Las Vegas. Uh, and she sends a little envelope right here. And it is, it has a Scooby-Doo on it. It has a Scooby-Doo. And we have a picture, a postcard from Las Vegas. And it's a fabulous Las Vegas. Uh, nice. It says, Merry Christmas, TJ! Exclamation mark. Hope there's a surprise or two just for you this holiday season. I hope 2014 is an awesome year for you. Love, Liz. Thank you. That's super sweet. Thank you, Liz. I appreciate your card. Uh, and yeah, this is my first. This is my first Christmas card of, of this next year. Actually, you're, this is. I'm not opening it late. It's just mad early. You're very early. You're very on time. Very on time. No, that's cool. Take that, that Scooby Doo. How cute is that? That's pretty, pretty adorable. All right. Awesome. Thank you, Liz. Uh, and next we have, I might be just build a, what are we at, six minutes? I may keep this short or I may keep going. I don't know. We have two big old packages in the next round. Um, okay, this one is from Ijomio. That's her Twitter name. Uh, I believe her first name is Mami. M-A-A-M-I. And she's from Finland. Um, and so I'm probably saying that wrong. So in my head and between me and Kathy Sue, because Ijomio comes on the live streams with us. Uh, I'm going to call her Ijomio. I hope that's okay. Um, cool. I'm going to be careful with this. There's some papers in here. Okay, we've got this. we got this stuff right here. Okay. Wow, we have a beautifully wrapped thing right here. We have a uh, couple letters. We have one we can read on camera and one that is private. And we have, uh, looks like a couple drawings here. I will show them to you in just a second. Let's read the letter first. Private letter, which should be private later. Here we go. The public letter. Hi, TJ! Exclamation mark. The last time I sent fan mail was over 10 years ago, and it was to Leonardo DiCaprio. No, he did not reply. I was heartbroken, and only 10 years old. It was traumatic. S unhappy face, sad face. So you really should consider yourself pretty special. I don't do these kinds of things often. Thank you very much. I like how you don't curse in your videos. It's a nice change after watching PewDiePie. Yeah, he tends to go, he does not have a filter. You seem like a proper gentleman in every way possible and I would love to have a chance to know you in real life, but I'm glad I can be part of your world this way too. Thank you. I truly admire you and you've made my life so much better. I'm excited to see what the future holds for you and I wish you great success in your career. You deserve it. I'm sure your album will be a success. Thank you very much. Those are very kind words. I hope you like the candies. In the Hot Pepper Gaming episode of yours, you didn't even flinch. So I wanted to see your reaction to these. I quite enjoy the red ones, she says. From uh, Ijomio. That's awesome. Cool. 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 Okay, so there's, uh, there's candies. Let's take a look at the candies. Unwrap it. What do we have? Easy. Easy tiger. Alright, so it looks like, it's like one of those, like, frosting squeezers or, like, whatever. And there's, like, candies up inside of it. Um, uh, we'll just go ahead and try some. Let's, uh, see how we can get it open. It's, it's, a, it's a challenge. It's, it's gonna be a rage game right now. Okay, got it untaped. These, I mean, the, okay, the name... I don't even know how to pronounce it. N-A-G-A-K-I-U-K-K-U. -K 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 -K. Okay. 
that's. I just I just pulled it up and like half of it came out and half of it stayed in. Let's break off a piece. Okay. I'm gonna try. Oh, that's spicy. Oh, that has a kick. Oh. That's good. That's good. It's real subtle at first. And there's like kind of a milky sweetness. It's like cayenne pepper that you pour on like um, one of those like, you know those little strawberry wrapped uh, sweet, hard candies? It's like putting cayenne pepper and a glaze on top of that. It's really sweet and it's a hard candy. And there's a thickness to it. It's not like a, it's not like a shallow sweet it's a thick sweet and it has a, a cayenne kick kind of thing Woo. this one is four out of five peppers down there four out of five okay i kind of want to try, to try one of the red ones oh it's a sadistic it's a sadistic little thing i'm gonna try a half one My mouth is still on fire. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to tell the difference. <clears throat> that seems almost seems less. Nope, there it is. There's there's the kick. There it is. Yep. Yep. Not as much though. So. Oh wow, I just swallowed it and it just like went all over my mouth. <laughs> that sounds dirty. I think the yellow ones are hotter for me personally. That's good. Oh, huh. If you want to check them out on a website, here's the website down here. Chilikapoo.fl. .fl? .fi. C-H-I-L-I-K. Chili Kaupa. C-H-I-L-I-K-A-U-P-P-A dot F-I. Chili Kaupa dot F-I. Okay, cool. Awesome. Whew. I'm going to have spicy. I'm going to give... Some of these to Jared, the guy who, one of the guys who runs Hot Pepper Gaming. He's gonna love it. He's gonna love it. Oh, my mouth's on fire now. Okay, here we go. Um, next, we will take a look at these drawings, if that's okay. Let me just take a glance at the private letter, just to make sure that it's cool to show you these. Okay, I think it's cool. I think it's cool. Okay, I think we're cool. Okay, I'm gonna go back and read that in full after this. But I just wanna make sure that it's cool to show you because these drawings are really freaking cool. I can see it through the plastic. <sighs> okay, the first one that I've been seeing is this really adorable uh, giraffes. Right there, there you go. It's a mama a giraffe and her baby giraffe. Look, it's the mama taking care of the baby. And it says, give this to Kathy Sue on the back, if you can see it. Give this to Kitty Sue. Kitty Sue. Yeah, that's gorgeous. I will give it to her. She's just on the other side of the wall right now. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. This is Dachshunds having a lightsaber battle. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. That's awesome. On the back, she says, I'm really proud of this. Hope you like it, too. I love it. Oh, that's adorable. I really want a dachshund. I really want a dachshund. This is adorable. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, you Jomeo. Awesome. Okay, I'm, gonna try, I'm trying to keep these shorter. So we're at 14 minutes. I'm going to cut it here. We're going to have another mail video. There's going to be packages, like big boxes of stuff. Okay? All right, if you want to send something, um, send it to P.O. Box. Send it to T.J. Smith. P.O. Box 88788, Los Angeles, California. Roxy, come here. Los Angeles, California. What's the zip code, Roxy? 9009. I don't like being in front of camera, TJ. I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Perch on my shoulder. It's just the same way she perches on my shoulder like this now. Okay, this is what she does. She just hangs out right there. Hello, I'm Roxy. 
I don't really do these camera things very much. Um, I'm really shy. Unless um, you have maybe uh, some cheese. I like a cheese. Okay, Roxy, enough asking for food. Well, tea day! It's okay. Um, so yeah, if you want to send something, uh, P.O. Box 88788, Los Angeles, California, 90009. Uh, and I go by there pretty often. Um, and uh, I actually had to drive by there twice recently. Uh, I went there, and then I realized I didn't have my P.O. Box key. It's like a 45-minute drive right now where I'm living. And uh, and then I had to go back, get my P.O. Box key, go back, pick up the stuff, and go back. So I was, like, driving for, like, three hours approximately, at least. So that was super fun. But it is all worth it. Um, and I love getting packages and notes and letters or whatever, whatever you feel like sending. Um, really appreciate it. So uh, one of my goals for this year is to do a little uh do a little dedicated fan time every day whether it's responding to twitter or facebook messages or tumblr questions um or youtube comments obviously uh, i really want to start doing that every single day oh look at that baby look at the baby you can't even see the baby that's okay uh i really want to start doing that i am doing that actually i have been doing it as much as possible so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this uh my name is tj i have a puppy on my lap and she's gonna jump off because she doesn't feel like being here She's gonna go. She says goodbye. Goodbye, crew world. I'm gone. Good goodbye, TJ. I can't get down by myself. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just a puppy. I'm just a puppy. I can dance. Not really, TJ. He's just controlling me like a puppet. Okay, bye guys. I'm getting way too random. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay class. I'll see you again soon. Alright, adios.